Good morning, YouTubians. It's Kermit's Ghost. It's a Blu-ray hunting Monday, and there's quite a few titles out. I'm on my way to HMV now. There's actually some new films coming out, some new titles, which is nice. There's some back catalogue ones too. And if you spend more than £60 in HMV today, you get a 10 off at the till. So I should be able to do that because one of the films, The Witches, is coming out, and that's £25. So I should be able to uh, make use of the £60, um, get £10 off. That being said, okay, gonna get, get myself a nice coffee because you've got to start the day with a coffee. I cannot function without my morning coffee. Cheers. Now, um, HMV also, apparently, they have King of Staten Island on sale. Uh, I've not seen it in the shop at all, so I don't know if they're gonna have it in, but apparently it's half price, so we'll keep an eye out for that. Just wanna say um, a hi to Blu-ray Bullet Brit, Pete, my friend Pete. Um, you know, he had a huge loss, a huge loss. His um, poor mother passed away, and my heart goes out to you, Pete. It's, uh, there's nothing like losing a parent. I lost my dad about 20 years ago, but, you know, there's no bond like there is uh, with your mother. So um, all I can say, mate, is keep busy and know that we're all here for you. So good on you, Pete. I hope you get through it, um, you know, without too much pain. All right. Um, what I was going to say, I just dropped my wife off now. She's off to London to have a bit of a spender. And those eagle-eyed amongst you might notice that I'm driving a new car. I've... Uh, I've got rid of my old Ford white Cougar because I used to park under a tree and it used to get covered in bird shit. It was like, oh, it's purple, black, oh God, this thing. And I had to wash the car every other bloody day. So I've gone for a black car, hoping it won't be as bad. i probably just deluding myself. Uh, I've just got myself a new black Jeep. It's like called a Night night sparrow or night hawk i don't know what the hell it's called but it's a it's a black jeep and it's got really annoying features on it it doesn't have a regular handbrake it has one of those button ones i mean how are you supposed to do a handbrake turn with a bloody button i don't know maybe that's the point <clears throat> anyway i'm waffling on too long I'm gonna go and get myself that coffee and then do a bit of blu-ray hunting i am armed with money that is my weapon of choice today so let the hunts begin let's go So before we go into HMV, I thought I'd show you a little bit of footage of the new car. Covered over the number plate for obvious reasons. It's a black Renegade Jeep. And it's something like a night shadow or something to do with shadows or night or something like that. I don't know. Uh, black. And uh, yeah, it's a Jeep. And like I said, it has no sort of regular handbrake. It has a button, which I shall show you in a minute. It's got 42 miles on the clock. And uh, there we are, just going to start it up. Sat nav is loading. That's my GoPro attachment. Off. On. So now that we've seen the Jeep, we're heading to HMV, past the sign that says it's mandatory to wear face coverings in this store. And we head over to the We Figure. You need this section. There's a new section in HMV where they have collectibles from Rick and Morty and Harry Potter and even the Marvel Studios universe. So there's a figure from Rick and Morty, and there's old Voldemort himself. So over to the new and trending, and the first one is Finding the Way Back. Oddly enough, it's just called The Way Back on Blu-ray.com. It's from 2020 and 108 minutes long. This one is You Should Have Left, starring Kevin Bacon and Amanda Siegfried. Yours for just $9.99. Bargain. And once more, Back to the Future, the Ultimate Trilogy, has been released again on Blu-ray. Three movies, 343 minutes. Everybody has this already. Next is Summerland, a DVD. Don't usually show these, but this is $12.99, starring Penelope Winton and Gemma Arterton. Next is The Witches, the ultimate collector's edition, till they release a new one. 92 minutes long from Warner Brothers, and it's about a young boy who's holidaying at a seaside when he stumbles across a witch convention. Next is Yield to the Night, starring Diana Dawes, a Studio Canal release on 1956. This is the story of Ruth Ellis, the last woman to be hung in the UK. We're in the horror section now, and this release is The Circus of Horrors, a vintage classic released through Studio Canal from 1960, 92 minutes long, and yours for just $14.99. Still in the horror section, this is Scream, the three-movie collection. Not sure why they're releasing the three when there are four great films from 1996 through to 2000, 348 minutes. 
Next one is Little Monsters from 1989. This is 100 Minutes and stars Fred Savage and Daniel Stern. The next one is The Last Kingdom, season four, and it's about Anglo-Saxons that are attacked by Viking forces and a Saxon who was raised by Vikings finds his loyalties tested when he tries to claim his birthright and help create a new nation. And this is released through Universal Studios. Next is Warning from Space about a group of starfish-like aliens that warn of humankind's impending doom. Hey everybody, welcome back. Got a big bag of goodies and a parcel sent to me. And I believe this is from Blu-ray Bullet Brit, bless his soul. Uh, we'll open it up and see what we've got. Well, bless your heart, Pete. Of all that is going on in your life at the moment, uh, all the heartbreak, you took time out and sent me a parcel with a movie in it. I've been after this film for a long time and you know that um, and I believe this is probably your copy you sent me at the goodness of your heart I just uh, I'm blown away by it go and check out blu-ray bullet bit I'll put his name up as well and um, I think you're gonna do a video on Friday you mentioned uh, you're gonna do a video on Friday and it'd be nice to see you give you a bit of support go and check out blu-ray bullet Brit. this is stalled by the way, in case I didn't mention it, um, yeah, I've been after this. Someone talked about this a few years ago, and I've been looking for it ever since. That uh, is stalled. Thank you so much, Pete. So the first film is Witches, and I've just opened it, taken off the cellophane uh, for convenience sake. You get this J card with stuff on the back showing you what's inside, but we're going to have a look inside anyway, so put that to one side. It's a uh, lovely spot gloss on this release. You get tight on the spine I believe these are removable they feel raised so I think you can just peel them off the ugly age logos there and it's got RSPCC on the back I don't know if you can make that out it's, it's not raised or anything it's just a different um, bit of printing so it's like it's a bit of spot gloss on there inside oh by the way it's a very very sturdy box as well you're gonna have trouble squeezing that but um, yeah really good quality Come in you get the blu-ray with a purple disc inside now in case you don't know the story it's based on the book by Roald Dahl and it's about a nine-year-old boy called Luke who um, is trying to rid the world of witches that are turning children into mice unfortunately he is a mouse already he's been turned into one stars Rowan Atkinson and uh, Angelica Houston it's from the, um, the, the Jim Henson production as well so a great film that is the witches you also get i will show you this lovely glossy booklet there's no writing as such inside just pictures but it's um it's very very nice nice and glossy and you get this envelope as well with <coughs> art cards there you got rowan atkinson Ooh, look at that face. Back to Rowan Atkinson. You also get this lovely poster, very glossy poster. That's very nice, that one. So is it worth the £25? Well, I would probably wait and just get the standalone Blu-ray because it's bound to get a release on its own. I mean, how often are you going to get the cards out of there and have a look or the poster and uh, the glossy book? It's nice, but you ain't going to visit that much. It's a lovely box. If you like keepsakes and collectible boxes then that's probably the thing for you but this will probably go up in storage in my attic and the blu-ray go on the shelf if they didn't have the 60 pound thing where you got a tenner off and bought this down to 15 i probably would have just waited and bought the standalone blu-ray but that's that's just me next one up is you should have left this stars kevin bacon and amanda siegfried this is one of those psychological thrillers it's set in wells and it's one of those sort of eerie things come back to bite you in the ass kind of thing from your you know your past it says it's creepy as hell it's got an 18 certificate it's from the writers that bought um uh, jurassic park and uh, panic room and mission impossible so it's got good caliber of writers and actors uh, we'll take a look inside and see if there's any artwork so inside you get picture art on a disc which is that building on the front there so that is you should have left Next one up is Finding the Way Back, comes with a slip, it's a 15 certificate and it stars Ben Affleck, although it's got like a sports picture in the background there, it's not overly focused on sports, it focuses on Ben Affleck's character who is a recovering alcoholic and uh, he's lost everything, his job, his wife, everything, and he's trying to make his way back, hence the title I guess, one I've not seen, but we'll open it up and see if you get any artwork inside. So there's no artwork on this Warner release, just a blue disc, 
Uh, it's supposed to be a very powerful film. It says the triumph of the underdog story. My kind of film. Look forward to seeing this. That is Finding the Way Back. Next one up is Twins, starring Arnold Sweaty Knickers and Danny DeVito. It's nice to see him releasing these old Arnie films. Um, not many more to go now. $15.99. This is supposed to be 10 quid according to Blu-ray.com. I think this is Fabulous Films that released this. Yes. Um, everybody knows this film. If you haven't seen this film, where have you been? And where the hell is the sequel to this the triplets the one with eddie murphy been waiting for that for years but that is twins next one up is king of staten island now all i know about this judd apatow film is that it's got marissa tomey in this and i do like her and steve buscemi by the way uh 7.99 was 15 quid it's not been out that long um i haven't even seen a trailer for this but i've heard really good things so hopefully it's as good as people have been saying that is the king of staten island Next one up is Little Monsters, comes with a stip, $14.99, stars Fred Savage and Daniel Stern. I've never seen this film, but I've heard really good things. Apparently his little kid befriends monsters or something that lives under his bed, and um, he's sort of accepted into the world of monsters. Later in the film, his brother gets kidnapped, and he has to stand up to the monsters. That's all I know. So hopefully it's as good as people have been saying about this one too, Little Monsters. Next one up is Crawl Space. This is from the producers of Wolf Creek. Found this in my Poundland, uh, went in there no off chance and uh, the boxes above the shelves, they had one of these. Rung up the till, actually came to a pound, usually they come up as two pound. It's about special forces that are in this like labyrinth of um, tunnels and they're being chased by a sinister force. So that's all I know about it. Sounds claustrophobic. It's uh, rated an 18, so expect violence if you pick this one up. Next one up is Brain Dead, number 16 from 101 Films. I've taken the wrapper off so it's easier. It stars Bill Pullman and Bill Paxton. Also got George Kennedy in this as well. We'll open up quite a flimsy box, but you know, it serves a purpose. You get like a 28 page book in this as well. Lots of text, lots of writing. It's quite a thick book. Pages are thick and sturdy. It's like a matte finish on that. Nice artwork on the front. So inside you do get artwork and that's nice and uh, i'm not a huge fan when the art goes right to the top like it's a bit like the criterion one but it's a small price to pay so you get a book you get the blu-ray and you get the box so for the same price as an arrow title this was 14.99 that's pretty good and the last one is the name of the rose the tv show i love the film the film stars sean connery christian slater ron perlman about monks solving a murder this was $24.99. Not sure if this has been picked up for another season or it's just a standalone one. Um, but looking forward to seeing this. I've been wanting to get this for a long time. So that is the Name of the Rose TV show. So once again, thank you, Pete, for sending me stalled. It's very much appreciated. And thank you for watching my channel. Has anybody seen any of those films or the TV show, The Name of the Rose? Leave a comment down below. I will get back to you, I promise. And give the video a thumbs up it really does help the channel and subscribe if you haven't it's all free why wouldn't you and on that note thank you so much for choosing my channel today and watching my video take care and i'll see you in the next one